We don't know the final tally just yet, but let's put up on the screen what we know so far. 48% for Mitt Romney, 23% for Newt Gingrich, and 18, 19% for uh, Ron Paul, then about 11% for Rick Santorum. Those numbers are beginning to change ever so slightly as the vote count, the remaining vote count from Clark County comes in. Mitt Romney still about where he was. Newt Gingrich's numbers are beginning to come down just a little bit. And here's why that's important. There were 500 precincts that were out here in Clark County with just 1,000 votes separating Newt Gingrich and Ron Paul for second place. Ron Paul's campaign believes that they have the numbers in there that could vault them into second place. That could be worth another delegate, and certainly it's worth bragging rights. Then there are a lot of precincts, a bunch of precincts at least, where there are disputes. There were more ballots cast than there were people signed up for that precinct. There were more ballots cast than there were people signed up for that precinct. So after they get these ballots counted, the rest of the ballots in Clark County, then they're going to try to resolve those contested precincts. They're inviting the campaigns to come in and observe the process. And they'll have to determine whether or not they will allow those votes or whether, Harris, they may have to throw them out. Yeah, you know, John, is it just me or do we keep hearing about, I don't know, problems with these caucuses and vote counting? This, this kind of happened in Iowa. Yeah, the same sort of thing happened in Iowa, and then two weeks later, we'll remember the uh, results of the caucuses were overturned. Romney had been announced as the winner on caucus night, and then Santorum did become the eventual winner.